In this example, we're looking at the graph of an ellipse, and I want to find the foci and the equation of the ellipse. Now, I'm given some information. I'm given the center of the ellipse being at uh, 3 comma 1, and then I have um, four points on the ellipse. Uh, the two endpoints to the major axis, which are the vertices, and the two endpoints to the minor axis. I also know that this ellipse is oriented in a horizontal direction, meaning its uh, major axis is parallel to the um, x-axis. Okay, So what I want to do is um, come up with the equation, first of all. I think that may be the easiest part of this. Um, and we know the general form of an ellipse, x minus h squared over uh, a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. And we know that it's a underneath the x and b underneath the y because this is oriented in the horizontal direction. The major axis is uh, horizontal, um, which means that that a value is bigger which goes under the x, uh, uh, the x squared term, okay? All right, and so now I need to figure out what, what all these values are, the a, the a, b, h, and k. Well, the h and k are pretty simple. They're 3 and 1, right? They come right off the center. So I can put those in immediately. x minus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared. Now I need to figure out what the a and the b are. Remember, the A and the B refer to the distance from the center to the, uh, the vertex, that's the A value, and the distance from the center to the edge of the minor axis, that's the B value. Okay? So in this case, if we go from the value of 3, which is our x-coordinate uh, of the center, over to the value of 7, which is the x-coordinate of the vertex, that's a distance of 4. Okay? So that distance is 4. Same with the distance from the center over to the um, other vertex on the left, which is at negative 1. That distance also is 4. So it's the 4 that gives us our a value. Okay, so in this case, a is 4. So we get 4 squared under the x minus 3 squared term. Then vertically, we're looking at the y value, the minor axis. Um, if I go from 1, which is my y value of the center, I go up to 2 or down to 0, either way, that's a difference of 1. Okay, so that gives me a b value of 1, and then I square that. And so my final form, once I simplify this, would simply be x minus 3 squared over 16 plus y minus 1 squared, now if I divide by 1, that doesn't change anything, is equal to 1. And so this would be our final uh, equation in standard form for the ellipse. Now I'm still going to look for the foci. And the foci are going to be two points. I don't know exactly where they're going to be, but they're going to be somewhere along this major axis here on the inside. Um, I do know for that reason that they're both at a height at a y level of 1. All right, so the y coordinate of those foci, um, we'll say f1 uh, is going to be at, uh, remember it's c, well, no, it's not c. It is, uh, oh, let's see. Well, it's something comma 1, and then focus 2, I'll fill in the something in just a minute, it's something comma 1 also. Now, this something is going to be the x value of the center minus the c value. Now, this, this c is the big c for center. I'm talking about the little c, which is the distance from the center to the focus. Um, and so we want to take the, the h, which is the x-coordinate of the, of the center, and subtract off little c. We'll come back to how we calculate little c in a moment. And then for the other one, we're going to add the little c, so it's h plus c, right? Again, the y value is just your k value, so that's our, our 1. Now we need to figure out what h is. Well, we know h. h is 3. Uh, so we could do 3 minus c, comma 1, and 3 plus c, 
comma 1. Now we just have to figure out what C is. Uh, and remember, in this equation, or in this equation, the C value comes from the relationship that B squared equals uh, A squared minus C squared. Okay, we can always set up this equation. I always think of it as the, the word back, B-A-C. Um, it's not exactly, but it um, helps me remember it anyway. So uh, the order of the, of the variables. And so when I plug that stuff in, the B value is 1. So that's 1 squared. The A value is 4, so that's 16, which is 4 squared. So I subtract the 16, I get negative 15. Divide out the negative 1. So C squared is 15, which makes C equal to the square root of 15. So that's what we're going to add and subtract from the value of H. All right, And so that means that our final... Um, vertices or foci c value is root 15 this c value is a root 15 now 3 plus or minus root 15 is fine that's a good exact value however it doesn't give me much information about this graph i don't know exactly where those are um, i can get a better idea by using a calculator and putting that in decimal form 3 plus uh, root 15 is around 6.87, okay? So this one over here is about 6.87 comma one. And this one here, I'll go the other way with that, that would be three minus root 15, which is about negative 0.87, okay? Negative 0 0.87. Um, and so those are going to be actually quite close to the vertices um, on that major axis, right? And so, whoops, I should put that in as an ordered pair, shouldn't I? Uh, this would be negative 0 0.87 comma 1, all right? Um, so that gives us our two foci and the equation of our ellipse.